Welcome back. To start out today's video, I am joined by my brand new friend, Polar Peely. He doesn't speak. When you try to talk to him, he just gives you hand signals and he breathes and smiles. But that doesn't matter because he's my travel buddy for today's video. And I'm super happy that I found him at the very end of last episode. If you didn't watch it, check it out. I basically spent 100 days searching through the ice biome to try and find him. And I finally did. So he is going to be joining us on our journey at the beginning of today's video. But you guys have seen the title and thumbnail to this video today we're testing something that I don't know if I should be doing. There's an ice cave right next to us though and we have double inner fire charms to help us on this journey and the reason that I've immediately jumped down into an ice cave today is because I'm here with one single goal and that's to find a wooden chest and maybe also not to die. Oh and we already found a secret entrance in the cave. Let's see what's inside of here. This is always fun. There's two chests. Let's see. Frost brute scale and no cheese. Why is there no cheese in here? Anyway that's not even what we were looking for. Like I said we're looking for a wooden chest. I'm I'm gonna try my hardest not to get distracted. I'll see you guys when I find one. Oh, and wait, this is exactly what we were looking for. So I didn't show this on video, but as you can see, I found five pieces of cheese between now and the last cut, and that's amazing. Cheese is the glue that holds this game together. I'm on a goal to collect all of the cheese in my world, but what I learned recently is that with these chests that are up here, you can actually open them and grab the items from it, but that's not it. You can run away from them and it'll unrender, but when you come back, it should have new items and oh my goodness wait i really just didn't think it would be that easy also what is my guy doing over there why is he just kind of staring at the corner and moving around all awkward i don't know what he's doing but anyway this is insane i almost feel bad doing it but yeah every time you open this chest there's new items in it so theoretically if i run away i don't even actually know if this is true but i'm pretty sure that cheese can be inside of these i guess we'll have to wait and see because if not then this whole plan doesn't even matter because i don't care about anything other than cheese so let's keep running away from this chest oh my goodness i don't feel good doing this wait this kind of feels like I'm cheating. Maybe I won't take anything except for cheese. I think I'm going to do that. You guys can use this however you want. I'm sure it'll get patched in the big update that's happening soon. But all I'm looking for out of these chests is cheese. I'm not going to grab anything else just so I don't feel like I'm actually cheating. But I will do anything for cheese. So now we just have to see if it's even possible to get because I'm now kind of scared. I don't see any cheese yet. This is like our fifth or sixth time. Go there it is this is about to be really overpowered i'll see you in like an hour <laughs> So it's time to check back in. It's been an hour and 10 minutes and I'm not lying. It is way harder than I thought to get cheese out of these chests. And let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm just not gonna cut this video until we get cheese. And I'm gonna show you how many times I have to run back and forth before it happens. And this is probably gonna be the last piece of cheese that I'm gonna grab. But yeah, as you can see, this was just already three attempts. Uh, this is going on number four, still haven't gotten one. So I've been running back and forth for the past hour. My fingers hurt. Uh, yeah, I'm just ready to get out of here. We're continuing to do this. I don't even know what the count is at this point. It's been like eight times and this is how it's been the entire time. Sorry, this is getting boring now. I didn't think it would take this long, but eventually we'll get our final piece of cheese. I promise you. Okay, still haven't gotten it. Oh my goodness, dude. What is going on? Okay, there we are. Two pieces to finally round out our stacks that we're going to leave with in today's video. As you can see, we have 180 new pieces of cheese. Time to get out of this cave. We've been in here for way too long. And we have made it out of the cave and we have Frozen Peely following us, which he doesn't actually belong to a village yet. So we're going to have to change that. But the first step is getting home. And what are these guys doing? Can we take a second to appreciate that Peely was literally fighting him with a pickaxe and not even a sword? Anyway, let's get back to village so we can put our cheese away and get started on today's work because we got to do a lot of stuff in today's video. And what's really nice is that now we have a beacon shining so we always know where our base is. Unfortunately for us though, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see our error message. Building is completely disabled. We'll get that figured out eventually. But we're back at our base to drop off Polar Peely so we can get on to the next thing in this video. And also, I have to drop off all of our cheese. I've already shown you guys my inventory, but I have 180 pieces of cheese that I did not have at the beginning of this video. So we're going to drop it all into this chest. And also we're going to move out the other cheese that I've gotten through the last few episodes. And now this chest right in front of us is the most sacred chest in all of Lego Fortnite, at least in my world. Also, there's a rainbow right outside. I don't know if rainbows can give you cheese. I know for the most part, rainbows are useless at this point, but I got to check it out. So let's see 
if they'll give us some cheese. Will they? Um, no, but they gave us a pizza. I'll take that. Anyway, now that we're back at our main base, we can get Polar Peely to stay here. Live at my closest village, and now he has a bed. Perfect. So I put the rest of my items away, and now we're gonna head over to start on our next project, which isn't the title of this video, so you guys have no idea what I'm doing. But the first thing we have to do is grab some iron and some frost pine so that we can make some new grand chests because we are going to a new location to start a new build project. Okay, so I've now got a whole list of items in my inventory that I don't don't normally carry with me but we're gonna be transporting all of these items over to the spawn of my world which if we zoom all the way out is very very far down this way so let's just get over there and i believe i'm somewhere near my spawn but i don't know where my spawn actually is so i'm gonna take off my charms and just let these guys eliminate me that way i can see exactly where my spawn is okay and we've respawned and there's our backpack right there so this location right here that i'm currently standing on is where i'll do my next build project and i'll explain why in a moment but let me grab my backpack first first there we go all right and we got everything we need and i died one more time just so i know exactly where i spawn and it's right here at this point which i'm gonna have to remember because we have somebody joining the world soon and in preparation for that moment we are gonna be building a new base here at spawn kind of as like a welcome center it'll make more sense once i actually do it but this base is gonna be built with the intention of helping people when they join the world for the first time let me put my charms back on so i don't die anymore and I'm getting this guy out of the way because they are so annoying. The first thing that I'm going to do is drop down two grand chests just so I can leave everything on the floor here. I hate when my inventory is cluttered and right now my inventory is an absolute mess as you can see. So we're getting straight into the building today and I'm also going to give you guys a bit of a rundown as to what I'm even building here. And it's starting with a simple staircase followed by a pathway. Again, like I said, right when you spawn into the world, it's going to be right down here and you'll be staring directly at this pathway. I might build a little courtyard that house is in where you spawn, but for now we're going to focus on the main part of the build and it looks like these floors will actually fit better in this situation so we're gonna place a lot of these i definitely don't have enough resources to do this entire build yet but we can get a pretty good start and i think that should be a good distance for the first pathway so when you run up this thing yeah it feels pretty good maybe a little bit longer again when this person joins our world this is gonna be the first thing that they see so we need to make sure it feels really nice and secured and i kind of hate that the thing goes into the ground on the other side but what are you gonna do obviously there's no sort of terraforming in this game so we can't edit anything and we're gonna follow this all up by putting some sort of oh wait can we do this oh wait this might even be cooler hang on oh yeah that's gonna be sick we're gonna do that instead what we're gonna do next is follow this up by supporting the sides of this every little detail matters even though half of it's going into the floor okay so we got it to here as you can see i cut out some of it we're gonna raise it up one more Put another staircase up here so we can raise it up one level like i said All right, and I believe with those floors down, we are completely good. Let's back out so we can get daytime. All right, and checking this thing out now, it's coming together a little bit. We got this nice walkway up. All it needs is some lamps now. Unfortunately, we don't have the items to do that yet, so we're just gonna continue with the structure of this build. And one of my big ideas was actually using the toys, some thrusters, some wheels, and some balloons to make a drawbridge that opens at the end of this walkway. It's gonna be a little challenging, but I think I have an idea in mind. All I gotta do is lay out the structure. So let's try this out. And unfortunately, I just put down two walls and I'm already out of granite. I don't have any more in these chests either, so it's time to go get some. And I've already gotten a decent amount, but there's a brute. I kind of want to see if he can help me. And oh yes, he can. The best part about brutes is they also give you a ton of frost pine without any effort. And yeah, they just destroy entire areas like this. Also, vines are kind of annoying to get, so this is great too. I know it's a little off of what we were trying to do, but it's still useful every single time you can find one of these guys. But yeah, I'm gonna play around with this brute for a little bit and I'll see you guys when we're back to building. And we're back with some granite along with a ton of other stuff. But let's get straight back to building because I'm nowhere close to done. And what in the world are you doing here? That's amazing. I love it when they break our structures. Oh my... He broke everything. Oh my. He literally broke. Okay. All right, so we're gonna build out our first wall once again, and we're gonna cut out a hole, which is gonna be where our retractable wall sits. And then we're gonna do the same thing over on this side. Then we're gonna come up to the top and place a wooden foundation. Now for our door, we're gonna use these cool window pieces and it should work perfectly with these. Now we gotta come over here and grab some of the things we brought over. All right, and what we're immediately gonna do is come back up here and start throwing some toys on. Starting with balloons, we're gonna place one balloon on each side, just like this. We're then gonna take a small wheel and place one on each side. And I'm sure you guys can already kind of see what we're doing here, but we're gonna finish it off with some small 
small thrusters underneath. So one right here and the other one right here. I've never built this before. So it'll be interesting to see if this works first try. I'm also just realizing now that there's something missing, but this thing should be ready to go. I felt like we needed daytime for this moment. So I backed out, but this thing should be ready to go. All we got to do is drop this down and it should lightly. Oh, oh, I didn't make this wide enough. I didn't make it wide enough. You know, that's why we experiment. And after we broke those walls, now it looks decent. Let's put an activation switch on both sides. And let's try this thing out for the first time. Ooh, look at that. Wait, hold on. Okay, now we just have to make sure the floors are there. But yeah, it just drops straight back down. Beautiful. Nice. So we got a retractable door. As you can see, thrusters go off. But then once they turn off, it closes. Only problem is it's a little bit messy around here. So we're just going to have to close off some gaps starting with the side. Yeah, making sure that there aren't any gaps is a little bit tedious, but it's definitely worth it so that it's super clean. Perfect. I pushed it a little bit and now it's centered. So I think we're looking at the final version in terms of mechanics for this retractable door. Again, it's super, super clean and effective. And that's exactly what I like about it. We're just going to have to clean up all of the areas around it. And then of course, build a building here. Cause what's the point of a door without a room? So let's just start cleaning this thing up a little bit. You know, when you have to make a structure super boxy, it's really good to put some details in it. As you can see, we put a bunch of pillars and floors. So that way, when you come through here, it should look a little bit better. Anyway, let's continue on with the design, but I wanted to stop and just show you guys kind of what we're doing. And after about an hour of work on this building, we finally have structure to it. So let's give you a tour. As we come up to the gate, as you already know, we have this really cool retractable ceiling door. I don't even know what the correct word to call it is, but yeah, it's just that. And it drops every single time after a certain amount of seconds. This is honestly the only time I've used thrusters and backed out and it hasn't broken, which is already a good sign. But once you step in here, you can see that we've just laid a floor down as well as a little bit of a roof design, but nothing too crazy yet. And I need to keep it a little empty for today's upload because in tomorrow's upload, I'm going to fully furnish it and build something very, very interesting in the middle of it. If you guys guess it right in the comments, maybe I'll give you a heart. But for the time being, I'm grabbing all of the granite we have left and we're going to put a staircase right in the middle of it all. I kind of just wanted to try laying out a middle section like this. And for right now, it looks decent, but it's going to look even better once we bring in all of our crafting items because I'm going to bring in basically every single station and I guess I can drop a few of them already. Basically, we want this place to have everything we will ever need because if you die and you respawn right at the beginning of our world with no resource, I want to be able to come up into here and basically get anything you need right off the spawn. So we'll fill it in with some floors. And we'll have to use these single floors to fill out the edges, but that's totally fine. And then on both sides here, we're going to put an extra staircase so that we can get up to the second level. Oh yeah, also I should probably drop a staircase on this side as well because that would make a lot of sense. But yeah, unfortunately I don't have the ingredients for the rest of these stations yet. But like I said, that's for next episode. Let's fill in a little bit of walkway. So we got one side of the walkway done and we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm now realizing that it's a little little bit off centered. I'm not too worried about that though. And the reason why is because we're going to end up supporting this entire thing and also filling in more of the floor on the second story. So it shouldn't look too odd, but yeah, we just laid out the base here. I don't know why the drawbridge actually gets stuck sometimes. I guess it's probably because I just said it never glitches. It just had to, but every time I backed out and rejoined, it's been back on the floor. So no worries there, but yeah, that's the beginning of our brand new castle build. We'll go ahead and finish off today's episode by adding some sort of railing. I just need to see what looks best. And our best bet is going to be these simple castle railings. So we'll put these in. Now, as we take a step back, looks even better. And like I said, I still have to plan out how I'm going to build out the second story. So I don't want to put any railings outside of these, but that's a great start. Again, in the center of this building, I believe I'm going to do something pretty interesting. So if you guys have any guesses as to what I'm thinking about doing, leave them in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We got a lot of cheese and then we started on our next project. Stay tuned because I do have to finish this. So I'm going to be back here probably in tomorrow's episode. And if you've enjoyed watching this build, you're not going to want to miss the rest of it. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching all the way until the end of this one today. It's been your boy Kaz and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.